I hate men. Something like that, Divine Feminine, you posting. And your Divine Masculine is wondering. He know you five cups. But Divine Feminine, you could be posting stuff and talking about him. But he don't know. He probably think you, you know, got your own woes with another man. So he's fishing for comments. He's watching your platforms. And all he know is your five cups. But he don't know who you talking about. So he want to know what you talking about. But it's like he kind of, I see, I see what his divine masculine frustration come from. It's kind of like divine feminine. He don't have a right to approach you or be jealous. He have the right, but he don't because he could have went to jail for a long time. Either when he got out of jail, he married this karmic or he married the karmic while he was locked up. Something like that. So it's like he's very knight of pentacles about approaching you. He's very stagnant. He want to so bad, but he got to think twice about approaching you. So this could be part two. I think this is part two. Yeah. So something like that going on between y'all two. So... Um, that's my, um, <laughs> that's my, um, son talking in his sleep. <laughs> um, what's the tea with divine masculine with the two of wands and the knight of pentacles? Two of wands and the knight of pentacles. Two of wands and the knight of pentacles. Yeah, fake flexing. Ask rich, flosses money. Ask fancy, shows off. Yeah. Yeah. Your divine masculine, he fake flexing. I don't know, divine feminine, if your divine masculine is still with that karmic or not. But he acts rich to keep his mind off of you. Flosses money. Ask fancy, shows off. Yeah, your divine masculine is bugging. He bugging. He fake flexing. Um, but in reality, Divine Feminine, he think about you all day. He think about you all day. So he being he fake flexing. He don't care about that money. He don't care about that house. He don't be, care about no clothes. Your divine masculine, he think about you all day and y'all connection. And he reflect on the past. Yeah. Um, your divine masculine could be fake flexing to cover up the, to cover up his grief. That's what I'm getting. This divine masculine, he hurt. He, <laughs> he is hurt. Yep. Tell me more about um fake flexing for divine masculine. Yeah, nightmares. He have nightmares. Nightmares. Insomnia, paranoia, anxiety, unable to sleep, sees things under eye bags. So your divine masculine have nightmares. Yo, this divine masculine going through hell. I don't know if he if um he could be going through a dark night of the soul. Um, but song just came to me was day and night. Day and night. I forgot who um sing that song. But it's a rap song. It's called Day and Night. But that's what I'm getting. This is how your divine masculine is during the day. He be fake flexing. But it's like at night he have night nightmares. So day and night. I'ma um post that song. In the description box and the comment section as well. But that's what your Divine Masculine going through. I forgot the name of that artist, but it's called Day and Night. Oh. Um, yeah. So in the daytime, your Divine Masculine fake flex. And at night, he have nightmares. Paranoia, anxiety, unable to sleep. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put a advice card for this energy because this energy right here, y'all need Jesus. Um, for real. Um, for real. Yeah, something, something going on. 
Well, this divine masculine. And it's serious. And I hope this divine masculine is like not on drugs. And I hope divine feminine that you that you reunite with your divine masculine in time. In time. I hope that something changed in time. Because the energy that I'm picking up on with this divine masculine, he's going down a road of self-destruction. Because this divine masculine is heartbroken. And this is a little bit of karma. This is this is karma a little bit, Divine Feminine, or whatever he did to you. This is his karma. So it's kind of like he's getting karma. But... Mm, I don't know what spirit might do for him. I don't know. He might not... I don't know, Divine Feminine. So, um... Give me an advice card for Divine Feminine. What's going on with her and this energy tonight? Give me an advice card. Failure. I understand that a mistake. I understand that a mis that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Failure. What I'm picking up from you, from you Divine Feminine, I don't think you made a wrong choice. I don't think you made a wrong choice. It just feel like that because you miss your divine masculine. That's why it feels like that. It feels like you made a bad choice because y'all not together. The relationship was unsuccessful, but I'm not getting that you made a bad choice. It feels like failure, but I don't think it is on your end. But your advice, Divine Feminine, is to understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So you could have made a mistake, Divine Feminine. You probably wasn't as available to your Divine Masculine as you should have been. You probably wasn't available as you should have been. Give me an advice card for um, Divine Masculine. What's his advice concerning this energy? Empathy. Empathy and gratitude. Empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. See? Empathy. Your divine masculine is going to have to be understanding of you, divine feminine. He's going to have to forgive you. Um, And that's what your car say. And... I'm getting your divine masculine had an ego though. He had ego problems in the past, but this empathy, I'm not getting divine feminine that you did something wrong. I'm not getting that you did something wrong. It's just that your divine masculine is getting his karma and divine feminine. I don't think you like that. He's getting karma. And but your divine masculine is going to have to learn empathy. Your divine masculine is going to have to learn to not be selfish. That's what this is telling him. His advice is to not be selfish. That you have feelings too, divine feminine. So he is to be open to seeing both sides of a situation. That's his advice. To see things from your point of view. Feel your pain. It's like your divine masculine wants you to feel his pain, but he didn't want to feel your pain. And then gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Yeah, your divine master is going to have to, his advice is to be thankful and to show gratitude that he still has life in spite of you, in spite of him losing you. He's going to have to be thankful. He's going to have to be thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Because he's being presented with an opportunity, the Divine Feminine, to reunite with you and to show empathy towards you. So, for an example, your Divine Masculine, if he had an ego issue in the past, he's watching your social media. Because the universe is testing him. The devil is tempting your Divine Masculine, but the Most High is testing him. So, he watching your social media. So, say like in the past, Divine Feminine, if you posted something on social media, the energy I'm picking up on your Divine Masculine in the past, 
he probably would have just came home and started hitting on you, accusing you of cheating on him, jealousy. But it's like in the present, he see you posting stuff on social media. And in his mind, he wondering, is you complaining about him or do you got another man? So what his test is, how is he going to approach you, Divine Feminine? Is he going to be toy you in labor? Is he going to get unpredictable? Is he going to get violent? Is he going to put you in a dangerous predicament? Because he's jealous, his ego. That's what's going on with this divine masculine. And his advice is to show empathy towards you. Because your divine masculine could have been very cruel and unruly towards you, divine feminine. He probably used to hit you, like physically put his hands on you. So what he can do, since he see you posting, he should approach you differently. Not call you and call you all types of hoes and bitches. No. Be a mature man and just ask your divine feminine. What you posting? What's what's going on? What's wrong with you? Why you keep complaining? Why you posting this on that one in Twitter, on Facebook? What's going on? Do you have somebody else? What's going on? Not assuming. So that's what I'm picking up with this divine masculine. That's his advice. Um, and also with this fail, failure card too, Divine Feminine, your advice. This mistake could be your Divine Masculine. This mistake could be talking about your Divine Masculine. So Spirit could be telling you, understand that a mistake that your Divine Masculine made is only an opportunity to learn. Something like that. And I'm getting, your divine masculine could have ended up in jail. And either he married someone while he was locked up. Or when he got out of jail, he married somebody else other than you, divine feminine. But your divine masculine is getting his karma. For whatever he did against you in the past. He getting his karma. He getting his karma. Um, big, Very big ego. Your, this divine masculine probably used to... Um, physically abuse you. He probably was on drugs. So he's going to have to learn how to um, consider your feelings. Be very considerate and mindful of you. Yeah. This divine masculine was very abusive towards you in the past. And he's getting karma. Because I'm getting divine feminine. You five cups. But your divine masculine? He like on the verge of like, uh, like losing it. Like, losing his mind. Um, yeah. Something like that going on with him. But it was because of how he treated you. So, basically, Divine Feminine, how your Divine Masculine treated you, that's how the Most High treated him. That's basically what's going on. So, how he treated you, being cruel, unruly. Yeah. So, that's what's going on. That's all this is. I was trying to figure out what was going on. The other by masculine is getting karma. And however high he treated you, manhandling you, the most high is manhandling him. Very harsh. His his karma is a little harsh. Yep, his karma is harsh. Yeah. Yep. Um. It's something else I wanted to say. But I'm going to save that for another time. I don't think this is the right time for me to say it. I don't think this is the right time. But it's something I wanted to bring out concerning my Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine reading. Yeah. So, Divine Masculine, you want to say to your Divine Feminine, you feel her leaving you behind. And that's because this divine, divine Masculine, you stuck in the past. You still stuck in the past when your Divine, Mas when your divine Feminine left you. And you want to be more than friends. You want to be more than friends. Divine Masculine, if this energy resonates with you, if this reading resonates with you, after dark hours might be a good time to reach out to your Divine Feminine because it's letting me know your Divine Feminine is open because she's five cups. 
She's having emotional regrets and losses because she, she missed you. She did the right thing in the past. She left you. I'm getting y'all been separated for a while. But tonight, it's like it's breaking her down. She's, she's really missing you. So if you was to call her or reach out to her, she's not going to um, be harsh to you or hang up on you. She's going to be open to receive you. But if you approach her correctly, if you come correct, your divine feminine is ready because she's five cups. She's in her feelings. She's in her emotion. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yep. But this divine masculine is stuck because this divine feminine is not leaving him behind. She already left. So this, this is letting me know your divine masculine is stuck. Divine masculine, you're stuck. Um. I'm getting a little bit of, um, yeah, I already said it. Divine Masculine, you, if you're not careful, you can lose it, like, mentally. Like, go a little crazy because you are your Divine Feminine, but that's your karma. Because the, the universe is on you. you getting your karma from the Most High. So, it's like he on you. Because it's like he wants you to learn a lesson. Yeah, you just getting karma. How you treated Divine Feminine in the past, that's how the Most High is treating you. That's how the Most High is allowing life, life to treat you. Is allowing life to manhandle you like you handled Divine Feminine in the past. You manhandle her. You can't manhandle a woman. Yeah. You got to be understanding of a feminine energy of a woman. Yeah. Um, divine Feminine. You want to tell your Divine Masculine you know you messed everything up, but you didn't. You didn't. That's just how you feel. You didn't mess everything up. And you want to say to him that you want him to forgive you. Yeah. But it's not too much divine feminine. You need you don't need forgiveness from him. You don't need forgiveness from from him. But I understand why you saying that. Cuz it's just you and your feelings. You and your feelings. And whatever your divine masculine going through, you didn't want this to happen to him. That's why you're saying that. So if you could have prevented your divine masculine from getting karma, you would have. But at the end of the day, divine feminine, you could not have prevented this. You could not have prevented this. What did you want? The most high to sit back and allow your divine masculine to tear you down? To possibly even hurt you physically. Because that's what that was leading, leading to. He could have destroyed you. So it's like. The universe is giving him his karma. So he could become a better person. Yeah. So. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm going to end it at that. Um, collective. Please keep in mind. That even though this is an after dark reading. This still may or may not be for you. This is still a general public reading. So it might not be your energy tonight. And the story might not be for you as well. Time is fluid. So please keep in mind that this reading can manifest after dark hours tonight. It can manifest later on down the line of time. Or it can manifest after dark hours another night. Again, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. Thank you, collective, and good night.